Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. Today we have Autumn Elegy and Freckled Dad, and we're gonna go through the entire list of free to play updates and talk about uh, where we would place them on a tier list. And this is gonna be probably uh, spread across several episodes, so it's not gonna be like a one three hour video or something, because I don't think anyone would watch the whole thing if we did that, so. <laughs> All right. Um, we're, by the way, I'll link this in the description. We're reading off the free to play wiki changelog. It seems like there might be some things missing because we've just been talking about that, uh, but we've uh, come up with a few that aren't on here. So we'll also talk about those. So anyways, um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, so first of all, free to play release was probably the first thing, kind of, um, I guess, but we're also gonna talk about the sort of um, pre-release of free-to-play when they uh, came out with free-to-play worlds that only were accessed by members. So we're going to rate that first. Um, anybody want to start with their opinion? Yeah, sure. I'll start. Um, I can remember pre-EOC playing free-to-play. So hearing about the idea of free-to-play worlds coming out piqued my interest on the idea of making another free-to-player at this point so um i was really excited to see this but it you still needed membership so it was kind of odd i would probably place this around probably uh i'll give it a b okay freck say pre f to b okay um let's see where would i put this uh Honestly, I don't really didn't really care about the update too much. I guess the purpose of it was so that uh, people could do free to play PKing and we're limited to that. So um, I'm kind of indifferent. I think I'll probably put it at like a a C. All right. What do you think, Autumnology? Uh, I'd, I'd probably give it like a B. I mean, I didn't. I don't think I participated in this or really cared that much personally, but I get like free to play PKing is nostalgic. So being able to do that again was kind of cool at the time. And it was sort of a good intro to show that people were, were like interested in free to play in some way. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. <laughs> Next up, we got the actual free to play release. I think I- Wait, wasn't, wasn't there also like a weekend where you could play the game for free in free to play worlds? Like, didn't didn't some oh. players start then? Yeah, that, I guess we could bring that up. Um, I remember a few people. I don't know if anyone remembers Magnus F2P, but he started in that time period as well. So it was like kind of didn't, before. Didn't Netbook play. make his account then? Maybe. Yeah, I think Netbook might have too. Part or like bargain. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 bargain that was, was funny. Bargain was pre F2P. So. <laughs> oh okay. Bargain's just not even a free to player. Yeah. <laughs> exposed yeah I, I think I would just place this in the same scenario as the first one so I don't know if yeah. anybody has different opinions to that might not be worth posting yeah here on that yeah but it's kind of like the same I would just put it the same okay yeah I don't I don't mind this either I think um it was a nice, I guess, a nice uh, trial period, I suppose, is probably what they were doing, just seeing how it went. Um, I don't really have much of an opinion on it, honestly. Uh, so I guess we'll get into free-to-play release. S. Yeah, I think everyone S. here is going to say S, so it's a Solid good S. Maybe I, I think should. the game just didn't really feel like complete without free to play because it's such a huge aspect of the like vibe and the social aspect of the game. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. It it felt weird to only be locked to members' worlds because like I've played since classic and like free to play was just always a thing, right? So yeah. it was just weird to come to old school and not have that 
and just start with oh no before you even start playing the game gotta pay get for it. credit card yep <laughs> right so yeah and i think it's been a big contributing factor to the game's continued success like i don't think it would have been like the mobile release i don't think it would have been very successful without free to play definitely definitely All right. Well, about a week after Free to Play was re released, the GE was also released. Where would you guys put that? <laughs> mm. All the way at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. F minus. Wow. F minus. Really. I. I think I would put it at like D, personally. Yeah. I don't really like the GE, and I voted against it, but it has some advantages it just i think the biggest downside is just just changes the the social feel of the game mm -hmm. distracts from the old school feel uh, honestly as a free to play player i wouldn't uh i guess i wouldn't mind having no ge i think the biggest problem would be buying like ashes and bones at this point probably but um like farming i know is a nightmare for members yeah <laughs> Farming and herbal were like an actual challenge because of the trading alone. Right. I don't know. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm sure I wouldn't have been able to do rune crafting. Yeah. Without <laughs> GE. Yeah. But well, like, you just have to do S. There's no way you could do talismans. There, there was just a sense of the like the whole game just changed once the GE was out. Like you no longer had to go and like engage with people to get supplies or like make like meaningful friendships with people that would be constantly obtaining these materials and yeah i don't know it was just not a good time i liked the game what it was at that point so it's kind of gone downhill from the g for the most part mm -hmm. i think i'm just gonna leave these as our names in each category because i don't think we're gonna sit here and go back through this entire thing and look at what each of us put for each thing so is that all right with you guys <laughs> yeah yeah it seems all right yeah it might be good to have like a final end result though of like like something you could just put as a screenshot yeah so yeah well. people could just read all of that oh so you think i should have captions i think if it isn't detracting from like it seems like it's kind of distracting you from yeah to, like <laughs> participate properly so uh i don't know i think it's yeah uh, we could like maybe we could go back through and uh do it separately from the video oh to, yeah like, true. get something to post good idea all right um next we have bonds the release of bonds the old school which i guess is a free to play update Thoughts? I give it like a uh, C. It's kind of just like has pros and cons. It's kind of a weird update, but I think it's nice that people can play members without having to actual actually pay real money. But you know, it also is just allowing RWT through Jagex, which is kind of weird. Yeah. I would also give this a C. Um, it obviously has a good understanding of why free to play is still here. Um, without it, I, I don't think there'd be much of a point of them providing free to play to us. Um, however, um, yeah, it's it's just not great because the whole idea is that like people that really want to get GP and like rush certain things on a regular account are just going to end up purchasing bonds and having gp for things so it devalued the like immediate kind of grind to get your things and get gp but um as we know for the most part it's just better to play the game to make your gp than to use in real life money for it so mm -hmm. yeah if you have a decent job and have extra money it's like pretty efficient it's just it's just rwt that's just so wild <laughs> it, to, to legally rwt yes yeah i mean you could fund 200 malal on a pay-to-play 
for what maybe like ten twenty thousand dollars which is a lot of money but like if you're a full-time working adult then doing that versus spending like thousands of hours playing alts on the side it's like the amount of effort that it saves is huge and if you're already investing like 20 to 40k hours into this game then you can play worth. spiritual warriors during anything yeah. man you, 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 yeah. do, <laughs> you do not need to spend real world money on this game <laughs> yeah what i'm just saying like anyone who had like extra money irl if you just think about it objectively it's like not that bad of an option yeah, maybe if you're an oil prince. <laughs> <laughs> or GP is just zero time IRL. I didn't think about that, Frag. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> playing during work, then yeah. it's truly zero time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need SWs on. All right. All right. We're uh, going to take out a loan. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, take out a loan from the bank. They'll not question that <laughs> whatsoever. Um <laughs> It'll definitely pay off once you're turning below and get rich. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, all right, now we're actually moving to the change log. So we have August 4th, 2016. New new safe minigame, Last Man Standing. What would we, Where would we put this? Uh, well, the only impact that it had for me was the GP bank, which is pretty huge for UIMs. And right. it's like the one the one exception to free to play UIM being like truly in the spirit of UIM. So in that sense I don't really like it, but it's also extremely useful. So uh, uh and then there's the mini game itself which I've never actually played, but it seems pretty popular. I I'll give it like a uh, B. B. Alright. Uh so I like the mini game, I played it a bit. Um, I like the outfit pieces from it. Um, yeah, from my point of view, I'd give it an A. Really like it. Yeah, um, I'm right with you with A, except for the fact that, like, how odd I'm putting it so high and never played the mini game, <laughs> um, is is kind of wild. But I like the whole concept around it. And I'm I'm sure we'll come back to this whole LMS thing at a later point, um, as another update comes out and talks about other things about it. But I would put this portion of the update as an A. Um, I think that being able to PK and like try out those like members' items within free to play is extremely interesting, and it also um, just kind of having those unlocks and just interesting capes I, th I i really thought that you know after i got some 200 mils there might be a period of time where i feel a little burnt out and i might have just camped lms for the rewards for a bit and it would have been a nice way to kind of balance that grind and uh yeah just overall a good update and i think it's good for the game unfortunately the bots kind of ruined it for us yeah, it was a good like a good way to get a taste of free to play for like new free to play players. Yeah, definitely. Um, all right, moving on. September twenty second, two thousand sixteen. Free to play skill total worlds three eighty one five hundred plus and three eighty five seven fifty plus. So I don't. This was not the release of all of them, but a couple of them it seems. Yeah, I'll go first on this one. I'm gonna give this an S tier. Um, I I like the concept and idea behind total level worlds, especially back at this point in time. Um, they would have completely separated you from bots, uh, which was just excellent um, because free to play was just getting overrun with bots at this point, and uh, these worlds were great, but also the kind of other side of this is then all actual actively playing free to players were also on these worlds so you were still fighting for resources so, but i'd still give it an s yeah this is a solid s tier for me i was I'm pretty sure i was actively training 
smithing on my UAM at this time, and the competition at Varrock Southwest for iron was just awful. Like, you just had, like, two or three bots standing on top of you on every single world. So, being able to just, like, do it in peace was a huge update. Um, I think that... Oh, wait, sorry, where where'd you put it? Did you say S? Yeah, definitely okay. S. Um, I think I... I would put it as an A, just because, like... I I like it a lot. I think, uh, you know, the, the, I don't know. There, it does separate you from the bots. I guess I really haven't experienced like needing to be separated from bots because like most of the training spots that I've been to that the bots don't know about. So, um, I guess just from my point of view, it hasn't affected me too much. So, put it at an A. I, I think it's a good update. Um, so moving on. October 6, 2016. New free-to-play boss. Obor. Accessible with giant key. Notable drops. Hell Giant Club. Rune Kite Shield. Rune Full Helm for Iron Man. I'll let Automology go first on this one. <laughs> He's an Iron Man. Yeah. I'll give this one... I'm torn between A and B. I'll, I'll give it a... B. Because overall I think it was pretty good content. Um, add something new that people can aspire to while killing an already popular monster. But it does drop the Rune Kite Shield, and I kind of miss the days for Iron Man where Rune Kite Shield was like the ultimate, uh, like useful flex. Um, and like the the like at the time you could only kill hills in the Edgefield Dungeon, and it was already mobbed. And after this update, it's just like absolutely crazy so like it wasn't really even worth killing hill giants at all at the time it didn't really become worth it until a lot later with the desert hills yeah so automology put this in a b and i was a hundred percent gonna give it a c on the whole scenario of bringing up the rune kite shield but then he spoke about it and i wasn't sure if you were gonna say it or not um so yeah <laughs> i'm still putting it in a c because I, I don't engage with that content at all. Um, I, I haven't done any of the free-to-play bosses whatsoever, but I, I feel like Obor is kind of in that middle ground where like it's a reasonably decent boss. It doesn't drop anything overly OP. Um, and uh, apart from just the Rune Kite Shield, so exactly what Automology kind of said was just the whole kind of scenario that, you know, before this update, if you had a rune kite shield, you had to have the smithing level if you were an Iron Man. So it's just another item that's just obtainable for the sake of being obtainable. But uh, I'm pretty sure with this update, they were also going to try to put the rune scimitar on the drop table, which we uh, <laughs> avoided, which was good. Because then everything on the kind of free to play. Um, unlocks would just be through this boss and a little bit of smithing i guess i guess apart from a ruin axe that would be the only thing you'd need smithing for still if i'm not mistaken at that point. yeah useful stuff anyways yeah i'm yeah, pretty so i'll give it a C. yeah i'm i'm also gonna put it as a c i'm pretty indifferent towards the update but i guess one positive thing that i like about it is there's a high scores for it now and it kind of adds something to work towards after 200 mil all in theory uh so i i like updates like that like just give more content to free to play not i don't mean like content as in like updates but just more things you can possibly do in free to play is nice um so i almost give me a c um next we have november 10th 2016 <laughs> new game mode hardcore iron man Thoughts? i'll go first <laughs> i'll go first i'll definitely go first um f minus <laughs> um i'm sorry to any of the hardcores in free to play that are gonna hear this and think i don't like them uh this solely comes down to uh the whole content around runescape for me 
I did not like this time for RuneScape because everything was oriented around this climb and watching this progress of this hardcore Iron Man to just die and then repeat the exact same series back to you <laughs> over and over and over again. And it just got so tiring and that was the whole content for like four years um, on YouTube. And there's there's still content out there like that, which is just wild and I, I hate it. It's got, obviously the game mode's gotten a little better now that there's like combat achievements and there's some players that are really good at pvm that are limiting themselves to a hardcore and pushing the boundary which is pretty neat but overall i did not like this update i'll give it b tier i think it's it's uh drawn a lot of attention to the game and it gives something new for people to do like using the same game mechanics which is approaching it in a new way which is cool it didn't mess up the game or devalue anything in the game necessarily so any kind of content like that i'm usually not too opposed to personally i think it's stupid and i don't understand why you would play one because like it's so easy to just lose your account over nothing but uh yeah i think it can be fun to watch and it's cool to see like some of the high level hardcores that are actually playing risky content yeah i think i'll put it f because I think in context of free to play, hardcore Iron Man is kind of stupid. Like, there's absolutely no point in making a hardcore Iron Man in free to play. <laughs> so, I mean, in, in context of the whole game, I guess it's more interesting. But yeah, yeah how are you gonna die in free to play? Yeah, I made one day of release and I died to a Black Knight after like an hour. <laughs> it's a skill issue. <laughs> That's amazing. Were All you right. doing the quest or something? Yeah, I was doing Black Knight's for <laughs> and I died. It's a hard quest. That's awesome. Speaking of quests... I love that. Next we have January 26th, 2017, new free-to-play quest, Miss Thalen Mystery. This one's like a solid D. It's just not interesting. Not really anything notable. So I guess you can, it's an easy way to get a ruby for like low level Iron Man if you want to quickly get your strength Emmy. Yup, that's exactly what I was gonna say for the ruby scenario. It's really only good for those Iron Men that want to like ensure they have a ruby. And at this point, this was this was before things like Obruses or things that just kind of poked out gems, right? So yeah, it actually um, takes some time to get one. Yeah, so it was it was kind of just best to not do this quest until you were actually going to train combats, so that you could go guarantee yourself a ruby later down the line. Um, personally, I I I hated doing this quest. I think the knives that get thrown at you from like the mirrors or <laughs> corridors or whatever from the like scream looking dude or the ghost face, whatever we want to call him. Um, it was just it was just a horrible quest and it it all started from a halloween event that they just decided to keep in the game as a quest it doesn't yeah. really have a place in the game and i i didn't like the quest so i'm just going to i'm going to give it an f because it does have a purpose at least for iron man um i can't give it an f minus because it, it at least has something there and like it's not the worst thing in the world but i hated the quest line I also hate when they recycle content like that. Uh, I don't really like. I it's it was an okay like Halloween event, but I don't think it needs to be a quest. But I feel like it was just an update for the sake of adding another update. So uh, F for me also.